Hey guys, we just made it to Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. If you guys have been here, then you are familiarized with the place. This is a parking. It also allows you to go uh, to the beach on that side. And you do pay for parking. It's not that expensive. You have all this parking to enjoy, not just the aquarium, but also the beach itself. And this is the way that it looks in the front. Okay, it's a very small aquarium. It is by donation. So that's amazing. It's not going to rip a hole in your pants, in your pocket, in your wallet. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to bring Valentina once again. It's been some time since we brought her. Um, she has been here, but she was much smaller. Uh, probably too small to enjoy or actually admire the things. But she's excited, and so are we. So before I forget, and it goes unnoticed, there is a small shop in this little building right here, right next to the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium sign. So let's go ahead and go on in. You have it on your phone, right? Yeah. Okay, and just to let you guys know, you do need proof of vaccination. Um, over on this side, they stamp you. Okay. Whatever you like to do. Donations, whatever you want. Okay. have some checkered periwinkle oh I hate the reflection of the glass but you guys get what it weed eaters on rocky shores and these are seashells On this side, we have carnivorous forms. We have these on display. I hope my shadow doesn't really ruin it for you guys. On this back wall, we have the seaweeds that there is in the ocean. You know what? I may be wrong. This may be what in it's like in the lakes. I'm not too sure, but oh, here we have some jellyfish. Oh, they're very interesting. Okay. Oh, sea stars! Wow! That one's called the bat sea star. Which one's the bat? Can you find the bat sea star? 
Look, look, look at the picture. It's, it's this one right here. And this one is another star. What do we have there? Snails. Hey, That's their mouth. You see it? They, move, they put it down and they go beep, beep, and they eat it. Wow. These are predatory snails. I think so. <laughs> this is the outdoor area. Um, depending on throughout the day, the times that they have, you can come outside and pet the little sharks. I don't know if they're going to open it today. It's about three o'clock. So here we have the crustaceans. Which way? Okay, a ver, a ver si ahorita anuncian, okay? No sé. I like it in here better because it's much more bright and I can record better footage. But let's go into Hunters of the Rocky Seashore. See what we have in here. All right, we're gonna go inside now. See what they have. Let me show you guys that already. These are the sea stars. Very, very interesting. It's so long. It's just wow, it's an it's an eel? A long eel. A long eel, okay. Whoa! Let's go to the little one up here. Yeah, that's this is big. I just don't know what type of goalie. That's a hermit crab. Mm -hmm. The little one? No. The little one, that one right there. Yeah, I think it's Oh, look, a flatfish. Where did we see Flatfish. That? And play together. Yeah. Can you find a fish over here? Where? Yeah. And that's oh, it. Where's the fish? You don't find the fish right here? You have to look for it really close. Look at the rocks. Look at the rocks. You don't see the fish? Yeah. There. Ah, it's right yeah. there. You see what they do? They match the rocks. They blend in. Like that when they camouflage. When, when you see his eyes? When there's danger, the, the, the other fish that's trying to hurt him, you won't see him. You like that one? Yeah, what's this? What is that one? What's it look like? One up there? I don't know. Looks like a butterfly fish. Back that way? Let's go back that way. Yeah. Yeah. I 
Whoa. Allá primero. These are territorial fish. On this side, we have egg cases. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm just reading whatever's on the labels up top. Description. In here, we have a moray eel. It's very big. It's somewhere in there. See if I can give you guys a better shot. Here it is. Oh my god, that creeps me out. Look at the eyes. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> Come on and see the eel. Oh wow. That's long. Yeah, it's a big It's a big one. It camouflages. It's over there. Okay. Oh yeah. Whoa. Hi. And here we have the kelp forest. Got a few fishes in there. It looks nice and clear, unlike the Long Beach one. <laughs> Just noting that. It, it's so much better in here, guys. I have to, I have to say that it's much brighter in here, and it's better to record, to be honest. Over here we have the Sandy Beach Wave Tank. Just pretty much gives you a look at what the waves are in the beach. And there's a flatfish in here. Look at that, look at that guys. You see how they look like they're the yeah. It camouflage <laughs> in very, very well. <laughs> That's so surprising. Hi. He's hiding, you see how he hides under the rocks? He's hiding? Oh my goodness. Yeah? To hide in there, huh? Over here in bed with the sand dollar. Like I said, there's a lot of educational things you can learn here. There's a lot of pinpoints on animals of the ocean of the sea making sense of a sand dollar of sand dollar sorry grunion fact or fiction thousands of grunions wiggling in the beach may suggest mass fish suicide but in reality these fish are only trying to mate nice and again everything here is fairly decorated nice and bright in here it's not too dark sandy beach demo now let's follow Henry and Valentina on this side I don't know if they went to the left or to the right but let me show you guys Ooh, these are huge did you see those Valentina you're so big. I can't believe my eyes. That this is in the ocean. Look at this, guys. There's an actual fish in there. It's real. It was placed September 15, 2021. Every time I see animals as big as this, I'm like, what is in the ocean? I believe there's 
things bigger than that in the ocean for sure mud flat we have mud flat here muddy nurseries commercially valuable fish use salt marshes as nursery grounds which provide protection and a rich source of food for juvenile fish mud flats cradle of life mud flats appear barren but conceal a rich variety of life many animals depend on this fragile and threatened habitat and then on this side we have the feasting flocks all these are real birds guys they are absolutely real <laughs> and it's amazing it says over 100 species of birds reside or visit the southern california beaches marshes and bays to reduce competition these birds have adapted to feed in different areas hmm. very interesting we have different birds different uh, ducks and again, every single bird has its little attached memo card to give you some information about it. That one's huge. Okay, now on this side we have the seahorse. A giddy up, not a horse, but a fish. And here they are. Aren't they beautiful? And then this one says, meals in the mud. Snails and worms find their food in many different ways. Some even eat the mud itself. Before 1900, there were 50,000 acres of wetlands in Southern California. Wow, that's a lot. Today, only 11,000 acres remain, but continued development threatens even these habitats. So, a couple of them are Marina del Rey, Los Angeles Beach Harbor, we have Long Beach, we have Seal Beach, we have Santa Ana River, and we have Bolsa Chica as well as Newport Bay, as many of those uh, that are still available. Destruction of habitat is usually the major cause of a species extinction. Over here, surviving in salty mud, many land plants are able to thrive in salt marshes by enduring stressful marine conditions. Very interesting. Good to know. Alright, so now we are looking at moon jelly. It says moon jellies are common worldwide in bays and harbors. The med medice can form dense swarms during the summer and fall. Which way? Oh, wow. Oh, this is a football fish. It's like a play together naked. Oh my. Oh, I'm surprised there is not one of them. Oh. <laughs> Bioluminescence. More information to read. We have some shrimp. Hi, buddies. <laughs> Over here is a jelly lab. Sometimes it will show you things. No one is here just now, but it's what it looks like. And they have a screen showing you some things. And now let's go on this way. We actually have the blue marlin up on display. It's obviously not the real fish, but if you ask me, I want to believe that there's fish this big in the ocean. No doubt. You can't convince me otherwise. Fish diversity, animal welfare. It says there is. In all shapes and sizes, fish can give clues to its swimming ability and lifestyle. It's 
golds are very, 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 very distinct and very interesting if you ask me. Look at their faces. says what a mouthful depending on their mouth shape and teeth fish can eat almost anything wow and again these are real fish parts okay <laughs> this is real wearing colors body color may hide fish from their predators and prey or may advertise their presence What makes a shark different? Here we have one. That is a great white shark. Okay. And these are the different mouths of sharks. Like, I legit fit through there. We have some sharks on this side. Yeah, this is a long... Mommy, they can see. Wow, they're taking a nap. On this side, we have seabirds and spinnipeds. The Channel Islands and the productive surrounding ocean waters and make Southern California one of the richest seabird and pinniped areas in North America so here we have some more seabird nesting sites and the eggs and the type of eggs that um, basically each bird lays Seabird adaptations. Seabirds have evolved a variety of strategies for meeting the challenges of living in the ocean world. On this side, we have sea lions, seals on locomotion land. This is basically what a seal um, looks like. Like, I hate staring at these because then I think they're gonna move and scare the living daylights out of me. But yeah, this is basically um, the male skull and the female skull of a seal. So much bigger as you guys can tell. This is a baby seal. This is a harbor seal, sorry. I'm learning just the way you guys are. And we have some more spectacular surface plungers. These birds and then we have the whale section the whales are, are the ones that scare me the most so here we have a demo of the whales so we have the gray whale right here then we have the minky whale if I'm saying it right the sperm whale the blue whale right here, this really big one. And we have the bride's whale and the killer whale. This is a bride's whale. This is a killer whale. And that one is the bride's whale, I believe. Oh, wow. They actually have a, a big fossil here. Look at this. That is so big. Feeding a whale. Wow. Whales with teeth, tooth whales and dolphins hunt for food using simple teeth shaped like pegs or spades. Some tooth whales such as a narwhal and the beaked whales use their teeth for establishing social dominance. Wow, interesting. And up here we have an actual <laughs> big, I, I can't believe my eyes when I see these things. I'm telling you, the ocean is full of surprises. It's a Pandora box. A whale of migration. 
a Mexican vacation to gray whales swim past Southern California in their way into the warm waters of Baja California, Mexico to give birth to their young. Wow, interesting, I didn't know that. Now we know, even whales drink milk. It says, singing without chords. All whales use sounds to communicate with each other. Whales can sing very loudly and use sounds well above and below our hearing ability. Many other whales use sounds to sense the underwater environment around them. <clears throat> and this is the room where they show you everything about the whales. Pretty big room. Very good information provided. And then we have a child's view. I guess this is a wall where children basically just put their images and their paintings and their drawings. This is very cute. And then this wall right here says the Sea Times, Oceans of News and News of Oceans. Pretty interesting articles, very informative. Great place to bring your kids to learn something new. And we're pretty much done. Yeah, we're outside. And you come this way and they have the Discovery Center. <coughs> And here you have your restrooms in case you need to use a restroom. And then we have the exploration center and the aquatic nursery. In here there's more stuff. Again, more things you can come and look at. This is what it looks like guys. We have some books over there, some little pamphlets where you can get information. And we have this little, please explore gently, the watersheds. Salt marsh. Go in and then stand up. Oh, oh. You're in the middle. Wait, you guys come. Hold on. Wait. You can take some pictures here. We have some more stuff over here. More educational things. And how to take care of the water. And the sea life. And how plastics um, are not good for our animals of the ocean. Ah, I see you. We have some more stuff over here. This is more like, oh my god, that's so interesting. This is a Pacific magfish. 
disarrayed okay. right now because all this heat, everything else. I think that's just where the water goes. Yeah, you remove one peg of the wheel. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Esto no nos puedes tocar, ¿ok? Yeah, son seashells. No toques, mami. Con cuidado, ¿ok? Ok, pero no se pueden tocar porque se pueden quebrar. Son muy frágiles. Yeah, look at that in there, guys. That is a horn shark. That is a spotted ratfish. Shark head. Mantis shrimp. No toques, please. And this is a shrimp. Wow. These are already conserved. Garibaldi fish. Oh my god, these are like fish skins. Wow. That's a shark. That's a shark in there. Look at this big crab. And this is what you find inside crabs. Very, very, very interesting. Salt marsh investigation. So did you have fun? Yeah, it's cool, huh? You like this aquarium or the one from yesterday? Which one is your favorite? Did, yesterday? <laughs> you like the one from yesterday? Me too. I like them both. They're both my favorite. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like our video. Comment. Any comment you may have. Any questions. Um, again, this is the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. And yeah. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>